Hey everyone, ready to blast off. Today, we're diving into something pretty wild. Oh yeah. A potential game changer for space travel. Definitely. We're talking about yeah. reaching Mars Why? in just one or two months. Wow. No more that nine month crawl. Yeah. We're talking warp speed. So much faster. To the red planet. Yeah. And it's all thanks to. What is it? A new type of engine being developed in Russia. For Russia. Yep. Interesting. By Rosatom. Their state nuclear corporation. Ah, nuclear. Okay. This engine uses something called plasma propulsion. It sounds futuristic. Yeah, it is. So tell me, what is plasma propulsion? Well, it's a whole different way of. I'm all ears. Thinking about getting around in space. Different from our usual rockets. Totally different. How so? Instead of burning chemical fuels. Like we do now. Yeah, like we do now. Okay. This engine harnesses the power of plasma. Okay, back up a sec for me. Sure. What exactly is plasma? It's basically superheated gas. Superheat? Like really, really hot. Okay. So hot that the atoms uh -huh. start losing their electrons. Electrons. Leaving behind a cloud of a cloud of what? Charged particles. I yeah. see. And that... That's the plasma. That's our plasma. Right. Now, the engine uses magnetic fields. Strong ones, I bet. Yeah, super strong. To do what with this plasma? To accelerate it. Accelerate it. Pushing it out? And that creates oh. thrust, which propels... The spacecraft. The spacecraft. Forward. Now, I've read that this yeah. plasma stream can yeah. reach speeds of... Hold on, let me check my notes. <laughs> A hundred kilometers per second. That's right. A hundred kilometers per second. Which is like blazing 25 times faster than our conventional rockets. Yeah. Imagine smog circling the earth. Yeah. In six minutes. Six minutes. That's insane. It is. And that's how we got down that Mars trip. Exactly. From nine months to just a month or two. Unbelievable, right? It's incredible. But hold on. What's up? What about fuel? Ah, the fuel. We can't exactly be lugging around yeah. giant tanks of propellant We're right. to get to Mars and back. That's where this engine gets really clever. Mm. It uses hydrogen as fuel. Hydrogen. Yep. The most abundant element. In the universe. And super lightweight, right? Exactly, making it incredibly efficient. So we need less of it. Way less. To go the same distance. Precisely. Now this all sounds amazing. It is promising. But I gotta ask. Shoot. What are the downsides? Ah, there are always downsides. Always. One of the big ones uh -huh. is the power requirement. Power, huh? This engine needs a lot of juice. Okay, how much are we talking? The current prototype. Prototype. Operates at 300 kilowatts. 300 kilowatts. Then. In pulsed mode. Pulsed mode. Meaning short bursts of power. Okay. Not a continuous stream. So to sustain that. For a whole Mars mission. You need to... A much bigger power source. Ah. Like what? Some like yeah. a compact nuclear reactor. Really? Yeah. In space. That's the idea. Hmm. Sounds a little risky, no. Well, it definitely requires careful planning. Careful planning and lots of safety measures. Yeah, of course. But nuclear tech. Not totally new to space, right? Exactly. We use it for We have RTGs. RTG. Radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Uh, right. Those things. They use radioactive decay. To generate <laughs> for probes and rovers. Been doing it for decades. So this would be... A step up, for sure. In terms of... Power output. But it's not like... Starting from zero. Exactly. We have some experience. But still, the challenges... They're there. But the potential payoff. Oh, it's huge. Think about it. Reaching Mars. In a fraction of the time. Opens up so many possibilities. Research bases. Permanent ones. Mining for resources. Like water ice. Maybe even... colonies. Self-sustaining colonies on Mars. It's mind-blowing. It could change everything. Our whole relationship with Mars. It's not just Mars, though, right? You're right. This tech could revolutionize. Deep space travel. Imagine. Reaching Jupiter. In a few months. months. Instead of years. The outer planet. Suddenly within reach. Even beyond. It's a whole new era of exploration. So what we're looking at here. It's potential game changer. Plasma propulsion. Yeah. Cutting down travel times. Exactly. Opening up the solar system. And beyond. Of course. We have to remember. There are challenges. Big ones. Like that nuclear reactor. Making it safe. Making it reliable. The crewed missions. 
But if they can crack it, it'll be incredible. It really makes you think about the future, about what's possible, what we might discover. It's exciting. It is. And a little bit scary. Maybe a little bit. But mostly exciting. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see what happens next. Me neither. Stay tuned, folks. Because things are about to get interesting, to say the least. That's it for our deep dive today. See you next time. And until then, keep looking up at the stars. Yeah. And wondering what's out there and how we'll get there. Maybe with plasma engines. <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Take care. And keep exploring. Always.